show you how to take bits and pieces and turn it into beautiful fall decor. We're going to start off with some planks that you're just going to put together with hot glue and popsicle sticks. You can get these rectangular signs pretty much anywhere at Dollar Tree. You can just put them together, use the back side to get a solid piece, or you can use some scraps like I did. You're going to take an embroidery hoop frame and we're going to put that on top. That's going to be the base for our wreath. I'm taking just little bits of materials that I think might work for the rustic look I'm going for. I'm just kind of placing them to get an idea of where I might want them. I thought that we could make this look like a pumpkin and use this little drawer pull as a top, a stem. So we got some burlap pieces, some jute twine, some ribbon. Most of this stuff came from Dollar Tree and from Goodwill. We're going to take this little harvest sign, which is kind of a galvanized look. We want it to be a little more rustic, so I'm going to take some brown paint. And I started off by kind of dabbing and brushing the paint on. But I soon realized then to give it a rustic, sort of rusted, been out in the weather kind of look, that it worked better with kind of a up and down motion, just dotting it on, patting it on there. And it really did end up looking like a rusted piece. I'm going to get some good coverage and leave it on my little scrap of white paper, put it aside to let it dry. Now I'm going to need to make a hanger to put this on the board. So I'm just making just a little regular, a plain little easy tie, wrapping it around the clamp. And we're going to hot glue it to the back of the board. I kind of want it in the center of the board, so I want to make sure that I have enough room. Just going to put a dot there and then a little piece of scrap ribbon over the top of that to make sure that it doesn't come loose. I'm not sure of how much weight will be on the wreath and I don't want it to pull loose. So it's in the center of the board. I've got my placement right there and I'm just going to cut these leaf pieces apart and again put my pieces down. Surely I'm not the only one who does this. I play with it quite a bit before I get it exactly where I want it to be. So I'm going to take some of this uh, pipe cleaner, it's just a scrap that I had, and use it to secure this to the wreath. You can use hot glue too, you can use floor wire or any little, you could even use jute and glue if you wanted to, but I feel like this gives me a little more surface area too to build on. So I wanted to have a variation in color, so I thought maybe these lighter colored green leaves would look nice in here on top of the whatever those pieces are under there. I don't know the name, I apologize for that. And then I love the variation of color in these leaves, and these I believe are called grapevine leaves. This stuff came from um, the leaves and foliage came from Goodwill. I'm just going to glue it down where I think I want it. I'm trying to keep it balanced by putting close to the same amount of bulk on both sides of the wreath. And I want to be sure to keep that center section with the Where I wrapped it, I want to keep that kind of open so that I can put that knob back there that came off the drawer. Now because we have that chenille stem there, it does give me a little more room to put the knob and I want to leave it open that way. I realized my colors were kind of 
blending a little bit too much, so I want to break that up by adding a couple of these darker leaves. I'm just pulling off the little web that always gets all over everything when you use hot glue. I'm gonna put that glue there, a good amount of it, and then stick that down and it's going to be on top of the leaves, the chenille stem and the stems underneath it so it has a good secure hold. Now I was just trying to decide if I wanted it to be a diagonal, if I wanted it to be side to side. I really, really wasn't certain how I wanted this to look so I'm just playing around with the placement again. I do that quite a bit. But I've decided that my drawer pull stem is kind of disappearing into the background so I'm going to take this it's kind of a peach color I guess but it matches well with the color that's on the leaves so I'm just going to take that maybe pastel orange if you want to call it that and make a simple bow and then I'm going to trim it down and then glue it underneath the what's going to be our pumpkin stem. Alright, so now I've decided I want the burlap to go side to side and I need to try to get that even because it would drive me nuts if I did not get it on there even. Look how nice the harvest rusty looking paint job turned out. I think that looks really good. So I'm just going to take a little glue and attach both sides. Careful not to burn yourself. If you have those little pink fingertip things from Dollar Tree, it'd be a good time to put those on because that glue goes right through. I'm going to add a piece of the peach right on top of that so that my little harvest metal piece doesn't disappear into the background. pressing that down in there and trimming off the extra that wrapped around the back. Just gives it a cleaner finish. All right, so now I'm just gonna add a little glue. Be careful, these things get really hot. And you quickly put that down so that the glue doesn't dry before it's placed. I'm just going to press it down a little bit. Just make sure that glue has got a good grip. And there you go. She's all finished. The only other thing you might want to consider if you're not going to sit this on a shelf is that you might want to put a sawtooth hanger in the back or some type of a piece of twine or something to hang it if you want to hang it on a wall. But I think that it turned out beautifully. It is my favorite piece that I have made so far this year and I'm very excited to do some pieces that will complement this and it'll look great in my decor later. But I will show you how to use that later on. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to subscribe.